space, the final frontier. Greetings, YouTube. So I'm coming to you with a quick channel message. Let's go ahead and get into it. So the topic is adoption scam. Okay, so I used a few of my homemade oracles and then I used the Kipper deck. I used some tarot and I used my soul's journey deck as well and my panther deck. So let's go ahead and get started. So first we're going to start off with the soul's journey card. So the first card we have is abundance. It says, I am limitless. I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. Okay. So I did clarify that particular card. So when it comes to this abundance card coming out, okay, um, I feel like that this is surrounding the card is also red. I feel like it's surrounding finances. Okay. It's surrounding prosperity. It's surrounding money. Okay, just like I, this adoption scam is surrounding prosperity, it's surrounding money. So, I did clarify. The first card that came out was the King of Cups in reverse. Okay, so you could be a water sign, um, a, uh, particularly a Scorpio, or you could have Scorpio placement, or this could be someone that you're connected to. Or it could be someone that's just in your energy you possibly don't even know. But it says cold, bad advice, emotional manipulation, moodiness, self-compassion, um, inner feelings, secretive, ashamed, and volatile. Okay? So someone basically who is very cold and manipulative is associated with this adoption scam. Next, we have the Seven of Swords. Okay? This is air energy. You could possibly be a, an Aquarius or a Libra Gemini Aquarius placement. Okay? This talks about betrayal, deception, theft, dishonesty, getting away with something, acting strategically, trickery, and fraud. Okay? So, this definitely, definitely links to what's surrounding. I feel like it is some sneakiness going on surrounding this adoption scam betrayal i'm picking up heavy betrayal heavy deception okay people being strategic i feel like this is seven plus individuals okay um and then to clarify the king of cups in reverse and the seven of swords we have tool and labor from the Kipper deck. The number 38 could be significant, okay? Uh, March 8th could be significant or August 3rd, okay? I'm also here in 1983. So I feel like that this just talks about the work that's been, that was or still is been put in, the strategic work, the trickery, the fraud that's been put in or was being put in to try to keep this adoption scam or this fraud covered up okay next we have on the opposite side which is still connected to you know the topic at hand i have another soul's journey card and it says acceptance okay so with this the energy that i was getting off of this card it says i'm learning to accept the things that i cannot change so with this i feel like with you know the details coming out um Spirit wants you to know that you're not going to, it's not going to be, you're not going to know every little detail, okay? You're not going to know, and it's, and don't question yourself, you know, well, why this or why that or why this or why that? You're not going to know, it, you know what I'm saying? It's not your place to know, just know that Spirit is handling it and they're taking care of it. It's been taken care of, okay? So you have to accept Spirit is saying to accept what you can't change, okay? Don't live in regret, okay? Um, and also, this car is purple, so it's giving me, it's purple and blue. So I feel like maybe try saying like some um, affirmations. I'm getting affirmation energy off of here, uh, like when it comes to forgiveness, when it comes to resentment, you know, um, burdens and stuff like that. Then, um... Also, with the purple, I feel like not, try not to, angel number 848 could be significant, but try not to, um, 
allowed just the burdens, okay? And I feel like this comes with replaying, you know, certain things. And that goes hand in hand in accepting what you can't change, okay? So to clarify the acceptance card, we have the Nine of Cups in reverse, okay? And it says lack of inner joy, smugness, dissatisfaction, indulgence, materialism, inner happiness, okay? And then we have the uh, Queen of Swords. It says unbiased judgment, justice, independent, clear boundaries, coldness, direct, communication, clear-minded, perceptive. So what I feel like is this energy, this could be your energy collective. Um, you could be a Libra, okay, or you could be a water sign, um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But I feel like that this is your um, boundaries. I feel like this is boundaries being uh, set up when it comes to people who just indulge in materialistic things, okay? People who are very smug, uh, very self-centered, okay? Then to clarify those, um, we have the three of cups in reverse. So as I said in the beginning, I do feel like that this was a collective effort. This was a collaboration, okay, amongst individuals to try to keep this scam covered up, okay. Um, I'm hearing Ponzi scheme, okay, um, but it says overindulgence, heavy partying, um, isolation, independence, alone time, threes of crowd and gossip. Okay. So I feel like that these individuals definitely know, you know, they're aware they're talking about what's going on. Okay. Um, and confirmation. So they're discussing what's going on, probably trying to cover their tracks as well. Hence the seven of swords energy that we have over here in the tool of labor card. Then we have the love oracles. So from the love oracles, we have the snake card. So it says competition, enemy, clever, malicious, look over your shoulder, the other woman. So it's definitely a feminine energy here. Okay, that's a snake. All right. Um, then we have the coffin card, and this says endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, transition. So I do see, ooh, confirmation, spiritual belch. I do see an ending, endings, and new beginnings here in the energy, okay, for growth as well. Um, there could be some transitions. These could be physical, all right? Um, then we have the poverty card over here and I feel like that this is talking about um this coffin card that we have here so some of these individuals could possibly end up in poverty okay then we have the wealthy man right behind that so whomever this wealthy man is could possibly uh end up in poverty he probably was the one the energy i'm picking up off this card is the individual who was funding this whole situation okay so um this individual nine times out of ten and this card has a 13 in it which uh clarifies this coffin card i mean it has a 13 on it which clarifies this coffin card okay death to a situation and like i said whether this is physical financial uh, spiritual, uh, emotional, mental, <laughs> it could be all around, okay? The number 37 could be significant as well. March 7th could be significant. July 3rd could be significant. Uh, January 3rd or March 1st could be significant, okay? Then we have the Panther Oracle, so with the Panther Oracle cards, I did get the collaboration card again. Uh, it has the number 45 on it. So April 5th could be significant or May 4th. We have, it says backup unity enhancement. So I feel like that this just continues to solidify that there, this was a collective effort to keep an incident confirmation again, to try to keep an incident uh, covered up. Okay, a scheme, a scam. 
Next, we have live and learn, experience, training, development. So I feel like that this talks about, um, it says the number 27. So February 7th could be significant or July 2nd, okay? So I just feel like that this is also a learning experience for the collective okay and this is your story then we have libation it says donation pray religion or spirituality so we have the number 58 okay may 8th could be significant or august 5th so with that i just feel like prayer you know if you believe in the power of prayer like i do um i just feel like it definitely helps when it comes to this whole situation OK, and then we have robbery, exploitation and caution, unfairness. And it's definitely go ties into the theft that's going on that that went on here. OK. Next, we have our um, truth teller oracle. OK, so and always remember what resonates, you know, you can take it, whatever doesn't. Do not feel obligated to make it stick to your situation. So the first card we have is child sacrifice. Okay. And we have the word adoption in, you know, on here. So something about a child sacrifice. Okay. So this could have been an a act. This could be an actual, you know, physical uh, situation or some other you know form i don't know nothing <laughs> about this shit but yeah so we have the child sacrifice card it did come out in reverse so this is something that has been exposed or brought to light we have incest okay so this is something that has also been exposed and brought to light we have sex offender we have an important decision needs to be made Okay, we have group involved in sex trafficking. This came out in the reverse, so this is something that has been exposed. So these individuals, not only are they into scamming, they're into sex trafficking as well. We have gang stalking gone wrong, okay? We have undercover doing spell work, so undercover cops, fraudulent undercovers are involved and this is in reverse so it was exposed we have conflict spells so they're doing still doing conflict spells we have fake social media accounts and trolling that is in reverse so collective you are aware of this next we have erectile dysfunction then we have poison a relative Okay. Following that, um, I did have the um the my DNA card came out in the Truth Teller Oracle, which tells me to pick up my DNA uh Oracle card. So, from the DNA Oracle, I got underage pregnancy. I have, and this could be surrounding sex trafficking. I'm picking up off this card. We have, you are the father in reverse. So this is something that has been exposed. And we have job fling or romance. Okay. Following that, I have my investigation oracle. So from the investigation oracle, I have, let's see. Okay, so the theft card came out, which confirms um, the scamming, the uh, being strategic, sneaky, robbery, okay? We have stolen money, so this confirms, okay? We have overseas, so when I saw the overseas card, I'm picking up spell work and I'm picking up bank accounts, 1960 to 1980 okay so something could be significant uh with those years between those years we have 26 to 30 years of age something could be significant about that time frame as well we have corruption or inside job which um solidifies the undercover that is doing spell work 
okay? This wealthy man could be in some type of higher up position here on the earthly realm. Then we have fake friend in reverse. This has been exposed about this friend to foe. Next, we have the years 1980 to 2000. So something could be significant about 1980 to 2000. Okay. Next, we have man in reverse. So this could be this wealthy man. Okay, this could also be a group of men as well. We have conflict spells in reverse. So this is something that has, it came out twice. It came out in my truth teller oracle and it's coming out now in the investigation oracle, but it's coming out in reverse, which this means it has been exposed and it has backfired. Next, we have indecent exposure. So one of these weirdos could have been, you know, exposing themselves somewhere. Then we have vehicle spells. This came out upright, so they are doing vehicle spells. So be careful, collective, if, if you can relate to this story. Um, we have case from five to ten years ago. So something relevant about a case five to ten years ago. Something surrounding a case. Five to ten years ago, this could have been a case about child abuse. We have the child abuse card right after that. Okay. We have 13 to 18. So this could have took place with a child who is between the ages of 13 and 18 years old. Um, it, This child could be the one that's pregnant. We have parents. Okay. So I don't know if these parents are aware or not. Okay, because the parents card did come out right after. We have middle school in reverse. So um, something about a middle school is significant. Um, it did come out in reverse. So this school is out there and I just got confirmation. So something is known surrounding this school. Staff could know something. Um, there could be uh, masons in this middle school. We have confusion spells in reverse. So that was brought to light and it has backfired. We have look into, <laughs> which I am currently doing. <laughs> we have palette. So I keep getting palette. And um, palette came in reverse this time. My guys is telling me that this is connected to the helicopters. Okay. Then we have sacrifice. So these pallets and these helicopters could possibly be, they're doing um, some type of warfare or whatever the fuck they have going on and trying to sacrifice individuals, okay? Or a pallet could have been sacrificed. Next, we have tunnels underground in the north, okay? I feel like that's why the, um, hence the wildfires. Next, we have death magic in reverse. So this has come to light and the death magic has backfired. Next, we have extortion. Okay. And then we have something surrounding a case from 30 plus years ago. This could be surrounding extortion. Okay. Next, um, we did get the sex offender card again from my investigation oracle. I did clarify it. So the signs that came up, take what resonates, what doesn't do not make it apply. You know whether or not the shoe fits or not. So we have Gemini. The third could be significant or March could be significant. We have Scorpio. The eight could be significant. The eighth could could be significant or August. We have Taurus. The second could be significant or February could be significant. I'm hearing Tuesday as well. Uh, we have Aquarius. The 11th could be significant or November could be significant. We have Aries. The first could be significant or January could be significant. Okay, following that, we have 
some occupations, okay? So, sorry, spiritual belch. So, I did get out some occupations, okay? Because these individuals, you know, could use certain occupations to cover up what they who they really are, okay? So, we have homemaker, all right? So, something about a homemaker. We have surgeon. So, surgeon came out in reverse. I feel like something has been exposed about a fraudulent doctor or surgeon. We have waiter. We have spiritual healer, okay? Or collective, you could be in one of these professions as well. We have journalist. So the journalist card came out. The vibes that I got off of this is that this is something that is going to make the news. We have beautician in reverse. So it's something has been put out there or known about a beautician or a barber. Okay. Or this is a known occupation. We have breaking news reporter. It came out in reverse. So this is definitely confirmation that this is something that is going to be public okay we have soldier so the military is involved i keep getting that energy we have dentist so something very significant about a dentist and it came out in reverse somebody could be taking people teeth we have doorman. It came out in reverse. So something significant about a doorman. Definitely, I'm being led to say, watch your surroundings. Okay. So something about a hotel doorman, or this could be like a, a um, you know, because so, sometimes at apartments, certain apartment complexes, they have doormen. So something about a doorman. It did come out in reverse. So this is known. We have professor or teacher. So this goes back to the middle school card that came out in the investigation oracle. Next, we have businessman. So this goes to this wealthy man that's sitting here. Then we have chef. So something significant about a chef or a cook. We have electrician. An electrician, um, it, it had like fell out once or twice i put it back in and it came out again so something highly significant about an electrician we have second secretary so something significant about a secretary or a call center we have student so that goes back to the middle school it goes back to the 13 between 13 and 18 years of age and lastly we have postman and we know that it's been coming up that um, allegedly FedEx, USPS, you know, these individuals are involved, especially USPS. Okay. Allegedly. Next, I have some more, um, in-depth signs. So the first I have is Aries in the month of March. So if you are a March Aries, um, we have March Pisces. We have August Leo. We have November Scorpio. We have Capricorn, January. We have October, Libra. We have Virgo in August. So if you are August, Virgo. We have May, Taurus. We have January, Aquarius. And we have April, Taurus. Okay? Okay, so I have some names for you all that came out. Definitely take what resonates, what doesn't, just leave it. So the name Yanni could be significant. The letter Y could be significant as well. Or your name or someone you're connected to, name could end in an I. It could begin with Y, end with I. Okay, first, middle, or last. We have Hawkins. Okay, so this could be a, the last name or first, middle, or last initial could begin with the H and with an S. Okay. Next, we have Quinn. Okay, this could be first, middle, or last. Or um, you could have the beginning, middle, or first initial Q. Or you can have the beginning, middle, or first initial N. Next, we have Zania. Um, first, middle, last initial could begin with a Z. First, middle, last initial could begin with an A. Okay. We have Whitney. Okay. So, first, middle, last initial or first, middle, last, last initial could begin with a W. First, middle, last initial could begin with a Y. 
Next, we have Barbara. Okay, so first, middle, last, initial, or <laughs> I'm forgetting to say or. So you, your name could be Barbara. Someone you connected to name could be Barbara. Someone in your energy name could be Barbara. A past, a past over love one name could be Barbara. But first or first, middle, last, initial could begin with a B. Or first, middle, last, initial could begin with an A. Next, we have Nina. Okay, so the name Nina or first, middle, last, initial could begin with an N. First, middle, last, initial could begin with an A. Next, we have Nicholas. Okay, so this could be a name that connects or resonates. Or first, middle, last, initial could begin with an N. First, middle, last, initial could begin with an S. Next, we have Rory. Okay, so this could be a name that resonates or first, middle, last, initial could begin with an R. First, middle, last, initial could begin with an Y. Okay, next we have Valentino. Okay, so this could be a name that you resonate with or first, middle, last, initial could begin with a V. V as in Victor. First, middle, last, initial could begin with an O. Next we have Pedro. So this could be a name that you resonate with or first, middle, last, initial could begin with a P. First, middle, last, initial could begin with an O. Next, we have Dante. Okay, so this could be a name that you resonate with or first, middle, last, initial could begin with a D as in dog. First, middle, last, initial could begin with an E. Next, we have Bernice. Okay, so this could be a name that you resonate with or first, middle, last, initial could begin with a B. First, middle, last, initial could begin with an E. Next, we have Kendall. Okay, so this could be a name you resonate with or first, middle, last, initial could begin with a K. First, middle, last, initial could begin with an L. All right, next we have Banks, the last name Banks. Okay. Or first, middle, last, initial could begin with a B. First, middle, last, initial could begin with an S. Next, we have Tasia. Okay. So, or first, middle, last, initial could begin with a T. Or first, middle, last, initial could begin with an A. Lastly, we have TT. Okay. Um, first, middle, last, initial could begin with a T. First, middle, last, initial could begin with an E. Or you could just have the name T, T-E-E. -E. All right. So to close this out, I have your fortune cookie messages. So the first card says, difficult times. Be on your guard against chaos as unforeseen perils or emotional upheaval are foretold. This came out in a reading um, earlier this week. And Spirit just was advising to stay grounded. Okay. Do not give people your energy uh, these individuals will try to, you know, push your buttons. Just ignore them. <laughs> we know that they're being operated. Okay, so then we have planning. It says, now is the time to lay down the foundations for your future. Financial gains are more than likely. Okay, so Spirit is just basically saying to, you know, just plan. OK, plan out um, whether it's a business venture, whether it's a vacation, um, you know, just something like that. OK, even if it's just journaling and manifesting. All right. So that is everything I have for you, Ascending Nation. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, definitely thumbs up this video. Gratitude for supporting my platform. And I'll talk to you all in the next one.